Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Karen from Donamark Papercrafts. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the UK. So today we are going to be using the Everything's Rosy stamp set and paper, which is limited time only and is only available until the end of May. So if you want to get your hands on it, I suggest you do it now. It is a stunning set. Lots of beautiful floral images, fantastic font, and the paper, well, it is just gorgeous. And it also comes with some ribbon. You get the Knight of Navy, and you also get a melon mambo one. All right. So today we're just making this cute little box here, which the little belly band slides off. And you can open it up. And you've got quite a bit of space in there to get whatever you want in it. So, put that to one side and shall we get started? I don't need the stamp set for a minute. All those. And here is our paper we get to choose from today. And, oh, that must be the foil card in there upside down. Yes, you get rose gold foil card and these fabulous designs. Really worth checking out this set on, on my online store, which will be linked below. But today, I think we're going to use this one. You can see how gorgeous that is. And you see it catches the light. It's all got rose gold foiling on it. And I thought we'd use this little pop-out, which you get, I think it's eight sheets of different pop-outs. Some of them are the flower ones, and some of them are tags with rose gold around them. Absolutely stunning. Right, we put that little bit to the side for now and we're going to work with a six by six sheet of paper today. Okay. I'm just going to bring in my scoreboard and can you see my measurements on the top there? So I'm going to pop him in. I'm going to put him in on the upside. Well, I, it's going to be the inside of our box just because um, I didn't want the glare on the camera from the foiling. So we're going to score it at seven, seven eighths of an inch, two and a half, four, and five and a half. Okay. I'm going to turn it round and score at one and a half and four and a half. Out. I don't need our scoreboard anymore. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Right. So I don't know. Can you just see my score lines across here and down here? So in the middle one of our oblongs at the top, we need to put a little mark in the middle. And that is going to be three and one quarter. So just a little mark there. Turn him round. A little mark. Says. Right, uh, that's why I, oh, it's because I turned it around, isn't it? So down here and down at the bottom. That's better. Wonder why it wasn't working out. It's because it's got a different size gap on either side. So then you're going to take your ruler. I don't know if you can maybe just see. Let's put a little pencil mark. Yeah, and here. And we're going to go down to that little cross where it crosses over here and here. Let's see. So, what we're going to do is going to draw a score line from here to here, here to here on both sides. Take your ruler, score tool, and just score. Down there and down there and turn it round and do the same on this side. Except for I can't see my score lines this morning. I wouldn't believe it was summer here. It looks like November. It is so grey. I have my big lights on, the room light on. Yesterday I even had to turn the... I have a small fire in my craft room, a little electric heater, and I had to put that on. I was so cold up here. Hopefully, 
it will warm up. It's half term holidays here in the UK. So I have my granddaughter coming to stay tonight, which I'm very, very excited about. So, okay, we'll just give these a crease in our score lines. And then this way. Don't worry about these ones just yet. So now we need to do a little bit of trimming away. So we need to trim away this little corner here. This little bit here. Round and then you've got a slightly bigger rectangle here that needs to be cut away. Okay. There we go. Let's move those out of the way. And then we need to cut into our box, just up to our first line where the triangle is that we made. Okay, so if you can, so that's going to fold in like that. So I like to take a little bit of a cheese out, just wedge him off a little bit on both sides. Just find it folds a bit nicer. And then this one. Again, take a little slither out. So as I say, I've got my granddaughter coming to stay and for a treat tomorrow. We're going to our local wildlife park and we're going to be playing with meerkats. I can't wait. Hopefully she'll enjoy it. I will. So we're going to put those together and that goes in there. This comes up, sticks over here. And there. That one goes over there and that one goes over there. And then these just push in. But next, we want to take our corner round up. We're going to round our corners. This just gives it a nice finish, I think. Oh, that didn't really, didn't really get that in, did we? Let's see if we can do a better job of that, shall we? It's oh, better. The same on this one. And there we go. And that's that one. Right, okay. So these stand up. And we're going to glue this bit to there and this bit to here. So just put the glue out. Make sure he's open. A little bit of glue on here. Don't need too much. Bring these in. Make sure those are creased down nicely. Bring that up. Line it up. way so you can see what I'm doing and then you've got a flap here can you see this flap here I'm just going to put a bit of glue on that and that will then fold over pressing down like so I'm going to do the same on this side Put a bit of glue on here. Okay. Bring this one up and hold him together for a couple of seconds just for it to dry. Right. So while that's drying off, we can make our tag. So for our tag, 
This one says, Dear Friends. I've forgotten to pick up a little bit of Whisper White. Alright, let's see if I can find a bit of Whisper White laying around. I'm sure I must have a little piece somewhere. Yeah. We only need a little, a little punch out circle in a minute. A bit of Whisper White. So we need a bit of rose gold. Our little flower that we were going to use. Oh, that one's a bit big. We've got a couple of punches. So we've got the one and three eighths and the one and three eighths. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Hang on, let's go and see if I can find the right punches. Right, back again. Right, so you're going to need two punches. Got the one and three eighths sculpt one and a one and a quarter plain circle. So we're just going to take one of our foil ones, pop him in, punch him out. We're going to use the dear friend. And we're using Knight of Navy ink for that. Where's my card stuck? Stamp him. Stamp him about here. That's better. Turn that off. Put that in the middle of that. Actually, do we want it in the middle and off, off to one side, I think, really, because we're going to put the little flower on. on there and this little flower I thought we would pop here and then you've got these fabulous mirror dimensional stickers which are absolutely beautiful they are also in the kit and I thought we'd put one of those in the center of the flower Let's glue all this together oh, and our ribbon. I just want to take a couple of little bits of those. Oop. Well, that's not very straight, is it? Can I say? There we go. Better. Okay. Cut those in half. Thanks to meet in the middle. There we go. Glue dots. Right. We're not having a good time here. I thought I put everything on the table. Well, oh, here's my glue dots. But as you can see, I have probably got six glue dots left. So hopefully we've got enough. So we've got one on there. And join him onto there. Glue dots to the back of here. I'm going to use a bit of wet glue for this as we're running out of glue dots. Side, it's going to get lost. 
behind our little flower. There we go, that goes there. Bit of wet glue again, as I say, we are running out of glue dots. I think. Um, we need to buy some more. Oh, now, oh dear, we are doing well, aren't we? Stuck on there now. Actually, I think that looked better in the, where it was in the first place, so we'll put it back round here. That's better. There. That's better, I think. Centred it up a little bit. OK. So we'll put that to one side for a minute. Right, our box is now dry. So all you need to do is then gently push these in because you've already got your creases there. Push them in. There we go. And there's your shape box. Okay. But we need to keep that closed, don't we? So with our Knight of Navy again. going to wrap that round work out roughly what we need so what is that about six inches ribbon close our box up probably didn't need quite six inches but Glue dot again just to hold that together. There's our belly band. I will trim that up a little bit. There's our could use dimensionals for this as well. Put a couple on there, I think, just to hold it in place. Okay. And there you have it. A very simple little box. I'll bring you up. It's nice faceted sides. So, I hope you'll give this project a go. And as I say, Check out the rosy, everything is rosy set. It is fabulous and it is only available until the end of the month. So have a good day, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye.